All right, shalom, shalom. First and foremost, before I get started, as always, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh Bashim Al Shai, Wahabrakhakwadash, with Yahweh, that's the name of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Shai, that's whom the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, it's his true name, and the Rakhakwadash, that is the Holy Spirit. And I also want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And salutations to all you brothers out there. And I want to do a lesson that's based on the scripture that I've read. In Ephesians 5 and 15, we'll start there. And it reads, See then that ye walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise, redeeming the time, because the days are evil. Wherefore, be ye not unwise, but understanding what the will of the Lord is. And you see, since, you know, Yahweh Bashim al Shai opened up our spiritual eyes, okay? Opened up our spiritual ears, and ultimately our spiritual mind. We understand what's going on in this world, okay? Everything we see, we know it relates to the scriptures. Okay, and with that being said, you should have it in your mind that, you know, we're living in the end times where, you know, this current present evil world is falling apart, which means, you know, it's only going to get more hectic in the world. Okay, so, you know, you, you got to walk out here with wisdom. All right, and um, let me get this real quick. And if you're walking, all right. It's a lot, yeah. And, um, and if you're walking with wisdom, all right, you know, you have prudence. Which, when you actually go into the etymology of that word prudence, it actually goes into having a foresight. Okay, and when you have a foresight... That means, you know, you can see things, you know, uh, far off. Okay, and I'm going to use this as an example. Now, if you, you know, see a car crash, or if you know about a car crash, okay, that's, you know, you know, uh, uh, coming up the road that you're traveling on, you know, you're going to take a detour to avoid that, you know? And that's how you got to be, okay, in your walk. Since you know... Hey, that things are getting evil out, you know, or times are getting more evil, right? You know, you got to uh, learn to avoid, you know, particular situations, okay? And you, you're going to have to learn how to stay inside the house more, all right? Because it's not really wise, um, you know, being out here. Because you got to remember, you know, not everybody... Is doing good all right or even surviving I'll even say it like that you got people you know who are you know homeless who are barely making the living paycheck to paycheck you got to remember in a lot of these major cities you have all these different migrants you know that um, that are out here that don't have homes hey they're uh you know, their goodies that they've been getting from, you know, the U.S. government. It's about to end pretty soon. You see? And, you know, people are... Uh, people are about to, uh, uh, you know, start committing more and more crimes. You're going to see more murders out here. You're going to see more um, robberies. You know, home invasions. Kidnappings. You know? All right? Know, so on and so forth you're gonna see an increase in these things and that's why it's best all right to avoid situations you know hey, hey try to you know live peaceable with all men you know hey let these like I, I like to say a lot let these people get their little carnal W's okay let them have the last word you don't always have to uh, be going out at night too you know, and I'll say this, you know, say, uh, um, t 
take what I'm saying with a grain of salt. All right, now it's a balance of things, of course. And I'll say this too, you're not going off. Okay, you're not, you know, technically sinning. If you know, you go out, you know, you may grab a drink. All right, yeah, you may go to, you know, like, let's say like a music festival. All right, you, you know, you may do whatever uh, it is that you like to do, right? It's not technically, you know, sinning or like I said, going off. But is it wise in these times? And, and, and I'll say this, it's really not. It's really not. All right. You know, hey, 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 you should be cutting these things off as we keep getting closer and closer to the end. Okay. It's best to live a, a, a simple and quiet life. Okay. I think that's how the scriptures word it, if I'm not mistaken. Okay. You know, but that's it. You have to live a... Uh, um, you have to live that, you know, minimalist, all right, uh, lifestyle, you see? All right, but let me get this scripture um, in Proverbs chapter 8, verse 12, and it reads, I wisdom dwell with prudence, okay? You see, wisdom dwells with prudence. And like I said, that, that word prudence goes into having a foresight, all right? You see? Hey, if you're really walking with wisdom, you're, you're going to uh, have a foresight, okay? And you're going to avoid particular things, okay? And it says, and find out knowledge of witty inventions. Well, you know, we're just focusing on that main point where it says, I, wisdom, dwell with prudence. All right, now let's go back to that um, Ephesians now, okay? Let's go back to this. This is Ephesians uh, 5 and uh, get 15 again. We'll read it uh, one more time. It says, Ephesians 5 and 15, See then that ye walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise. You see, got to walk wisely out here. Okay? And you got to be like King David. What did it say? That he behaved himself wisely. Okay? That's in 1 Samuel. You got to have that same uh, spirit. Got to have that same spirit on you. Okay? And remember, hey, the Lord gave us, you know, this, uh, 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 you know, this Bible, hey, these scriptures. All right? And it's a tool, you know, that we need to use. Okay? It literally tells us how to deal with all situations. And we just got to apply, you know, what we've been, you know, reading, what we've been learning, what we've been listening to. In our daily, you know, lives, in our in our daily walk. You see, you know, because what's the point of knowing all this knowledge and not applying it, you know, to your life? All right. You know, you you, you must do these things because if not, then really, I'll say this: you you don't really believe the things that, that you know that, that you're, uh, like I said, that you're reading, that you're listening to. See? All right. Well, let me keep reading. It says, Redeeming the time because the days are evil. Wherefore, be not unwise, but understanding what the will of the Lord is. Okay? You know, and, uh, you know, we, 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 we understand what's going on out here. Okay? We understand. You know, this is a, a, a crumbling society. You know, and it's not going to get any better. It really isn't. Matter of fact, really, it's actually going to get worse. Because, look, you know, we're going to see, you know, um, you know, the, the dollar get weaker and weaker to the point where it's eventually going to collapse. You know, pretty much we're, uh, we're about to see a civil war, you know, in the next coming months more than likely. You know, you, you, you just had, um, you know, Donald Trump, he, uh, he had a, a, a second attempt, you know, on, a, on his assassination today. You know, Lord willing, I'll do a lesson on that maybe tomorrow, but that just happened earlier today. And these, um, hey, these, uh, you know, 
you know, red-blooded Americans. You know what I'm saying? Hey, they're uh, they're about to lose their minds, man. Okay, they're really about to lose their minds. Cause they 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 see they see this all being orchestrated, you know, by the Democrats. Okay. And you know, and they're 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 ready to uh, raise up, cause you got to remember, they believe in the Constitution, and they see this government as being, you know, uh, tyrannical, and they have a right to defend themselves from this, you know, um, from this, you know, domestic, uh, 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 uh basically, you know, a uh, uh, tyrant. You know? So they're about to get down. You know? It's about to get real serious out here in America. And you got all these migrants out here, like I mentioned earlier. They Their goodies are, you know, eventually going to um, expire. And that's going to lead to uh, a, a, lot of, a lot of crime happening in these major cities in particular. You know? Now in these, you know... You know, quiet, you know, uh, suburbs and things like that. It, you know, it's it's going to be um, it's going to be a little more chill. But hey, these you know major cities, you know, you know Chicago, New York, L.A., etc. It's going to get worse and worse and worse. You know, and we, we see it every, t- you know, because we're out here in, in, in Chicago. All right, you know, it, 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 it's getting bad out there. All right. So, hey, going back to what I was saying, we understand this is what's supposed to happen. You know, because, hey, this kingdom has to come down at some point. All right? It's got to fall. This kingdom is not, you know, meant to last forever. So, with that all being said, you know, we got to keep our eyes single. Let me get that real quick. Let me get that real quick. This is, uh... I'll get this one. Yeah, let me get this. I like how Luke is worded. Uh, this is uh, Luke 11 and 34. The light of the body is the eye. Therefore, when thy eye is single, thy whole body also is full of light. But thy eye is evil, thy body also is full of darkness. Take heed, therefore, that the light which is in thee be not darkness. If thy whole body therefore be full of light, having no part of no part dark, the whole shall be full of light, as when the bright shining of a candle doeth give thee light. Alright? And you see, you know, we gotta uh, keep our eyes single. You know, we, we can't serve two masters in this thing. You know, you can't be one foot in the world, you know, one foot in the truth. You know, as I like to say quite often, hey, you got to be like a, a poker player. You got to be all in. You know, you got to be all in with your howl bashi meow shy. All right? Because look, you got to remember, this world's about to get judged. All right? It's about to get judged. And we're supposed to have a, a holy conduct. You know, and that word uh, holy goes into separate. So the way we live, the way we think, the way we talk, you know, should be, you know, uh, uh, completely different than the, the rest of these people out here. Now, of course, like, you know, you may, you know, have a co-worker you might have to talk to. Okay, so, you, you know, maybe talk about sports, a little bit of music or something. You know, yeah, you just chop it up with them, uh, uh, um... And just be normal, you know what I'm saying, so to speak. All right, but you, you know, you just keep it, you know, uh, 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 very, you know, simple, very quick. And just keep it, you know, as that, you know, hey, don't, don't, uh, you know, like I've told brothers, you know, you know, many of times, look, don't, don't talk about your political views, what you believe in. Even if you don't really, really get into the scriptures, 
you know, hey, you, you, you got to remember that you may just, you know, speak in general, right, about a particular topic. And then all of a sudden, you know, it may be about feminism. And you can say a couple things. And basically it's in disagreement with it. Like I said, you don't have to get all into the scriptures. But since these people know that you're in a disagreement with that, now all of a sudden you might be getting um, a call from HR. Now, you you know, you're getting written up for something just because you, you know, uh, uh, voiced your opinion on a particular matter. You know what I'm saying? And that's just one example. You know, there's many things. Hey, you, you, you don't tell these people that you're for the left or the right. You know, you just keep everything neutral. Because you got to remember, all these people are, are living that snitch culture. Okay? They're living that snitch culture where they're, they're ready to, to, you know, to tell on you the second you open uh, your mouth. All right? You know, because hey, hey, if you disagree with these people, and really what it is is you disagree with the B system, what's being set up, right? These people are, 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 you know, are mad at that. And they want to protect, you know, this kingdom at all costs. You see? They're so infatuated with this place that, 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 that look, they're going to protect it no matter what. You see? All right? So you just got to be real mindful out here. Real, real mindful. Point being, though, is that you got to keep your eyes single. Remember, this is this is not the end all, be all. You know, hey, don't get too attached to you know your family. Don't get too attached to your job. You know, maybe you might have a you know a house or a business, right? Don't get too attached to these things because this stuff is going. You know, you know the only thing that's you know getting out of this you know this kingdom is you know I'll say this not even even our own bodies. You know, because hey, we're going to be changed in the twinkling of an eye. You know, but I'll say this, you know, just for lack of words. Hey, the only thing that's, you know, getting out of this place is for the most part us. And then hey, the Lord may have mercy on, you know, you know our, our household. All right, but I'll say this. You got to be, be, be prepared to, to, to lose that too because that's not guaranteed. Because you, you may have a whole entire family that's wicked and you're the only one that's righteous. So you got to have that in your mind. Okay, so like I said, keep your eyes single. It's not worth getting caught up. Hey, let me get this real quick. Maybe we'll end it off with this. It says, let no man take thy crown. Okay. Um, I'll start at uh, 9 though. No, so lucky, 10. Yeah, I'll start here. This is Revelation chapter 3, verse 10, and it reads, Because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation, which that's coming up very, very soon. That's talking about when the mark of the beast, all right, you know, that, that, that chip, when it gets, you know, um, when, it, when it becomes mandatory, Hey, we're all going to be, you know, tested. And then we're all going to be tempted. You see? It's either we're going to have trust in Yahweh Hashem al or we're going to bend the knee to this place. And look, you know, we're hoping that the Lord has grace and mercy on us and He puts a spirit in us to resist. Even if it costs us our so-called lives. You see? You know, you really got to be in that spirit. All right? And it says, which shall come upon all the earth, you see, the entire earth, to try them that dwell upon the earth. Behold, I come quickly. Hold fast which thou hast, talking about this truth. And it says, that no man take thy crown. You see, you don't want anything in this world to take your crown. It doesn't matter if it's your family, your job, okay? 
you know, you, yourself, no, hey, hey, don't get distracted. Don't, hey, don't fall. You know? You have to keep pushing. You have to keep fighting. All right? That's that. There is no plan B. This is the only, hey, this is the only uh, plan that we got. Either it goes through and we succeed or it crumbles and we fail. That's it. There is nothing else. Okay? Because you got to remember, there's only one way. One path. That's it. You see? we got to stay on it. We have to stay on that path. Because if we don't, we're going to fall either to the left or to the right. And we're through. Okay? But, um, you know, I'm going to end this lesson. This was just a little impromptu lesson. Lord willing, I'm uh, going to try to do these, you know, once a week. You know, things that I, uh, you know, read throughout the week. I'm going to try to, you know, maybe do a lesson on it. So hopefully, you know, whoever was listening to this one was edified. And with that, I'm going to give all praises, honor, and glory unto you. How about Shimei al Shai? Also, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And salutations to all you brothers out there. Shalom.